I'm John Quinn of the law firm of Quinn Emanuel Urquhart and Sullivan. And today I'm going to be talking with you about making decisions about what lawyer to hire for your case. When a lawsuit arises, many things are out of your control. One thing you do control is who you hire to represent you. The lawyer you pick will make a big difference in how effectively your case will be presented. That choice also affects the impressions your adversary and the judge will form about your case. The most important consideration should be how that lawyer will help you win. Obviously, legal fees are important, but the cost of losing is often higher than any cost savings on lawyers' fees. You should interview multiple lawyers to find the best one for your case. Ask about the lawyer's experience, results, and expertise. Do they match the needs of your case? Bear in mind that there is a big difference between litigators and trial lawyers. Litigators are often experts only at the pre-trial litigation process. Trial lawyers, on the other hand, are experienced at trying cases. They can handle the case from start to finish. They don't shy away from going to the courtroom and presenting that case to a judge or a jury. Some trial lawyers are so skilled in court that their substantive experience, whether it's intellectual property law, antitrust law, securities law, whatever it may be, is less important because they are so skilled as trial lawyers. You can always team up a very skilled trial lawyer with another lawyer who has that substantive expertise. Having a skilled trial lawyer establishes your credibility with the other side. Cases can settle because the other side doesn't want to face you at trial. If your opponent knows that you're represented by a lawyer who knows how to try a case and can get results in a courtroom, the chances of your being able to reach a resolution, a settlement that is acceptable to you, are much better. Clients should ask any lawyer they're considering hiring how many cases they have tried, how many jury cases, and what the results have been. It always amazes me how seldom clients ask those questions. Ask what the results have been, ask for references. Who have they represented before? And talk to those clients and ask them about their experience. Clients should also ask about the lawyer's experience in that particular jurisdiction where the case is and with the assigned judge. The lawyer's experience with the judge will help preview how the judge will rule on key issues. That lawyer may have more credibility with the judge. If the lawyer has credibility in the courtroom, your case will likely go much smoother. Also ask about their experience with opposing counsel. If a lawyer knows your adversary's lawyer, they may be able to anticipate your opponent's moves, their approaches, how they try cases. That can be to your advantage. If they have a good relationship with the opposing lawyer, then it may be possible to avoid unnecessary motions and keep the costs of the litigation down. If your lawyer is someone who is respected by your adversary's lawyer, you are more likely to be able to obtain a good settlement. Now as to legal fees, assume that the lawyer's fee is always negotiable. Most arrangements call for clients to pay by the hour, but other terms are possible. Lawyers may also agree to discount their hourly rates. You and your lawyer need to be very clear about the details of the billing and the retainer, if there is a retainer. You need to agree on how often bills will be issued, how detailed they need to be, and when payment is due. You need to know when the lawyer will draw down on the retainer and when it will be replenished. All these terms, financial terms of the engagement, should set, be set forth in a signed retainer agreement. If you have questions about a bill, it's best to raise those issues as soon as you become aware of them. Communication between you and your lawyer is the single most important thing to having a successful relationship with the lawyer. You should discuss in advance with the lawyer what level of detail you want, when you want to hear from the lawyer, and whether you want to see drafts of documents before they're filed with the court. It's not uncommon to have a standing call each week on the same day of the week at the same time to give the lawyer a chance to brief you and a chance for you to ask questions. It's also important to agree on who will work on the case. Confirm that the lawyer you hire will take the lead role in the case. You don't want to engage that lawyer or law firm and then see it handed off to some other lawyer. In fact, include that in the engagement agreement, that that lawyer who you have hired is going to take the lead role. If that lawyer is going to be supported by other lawyers, you should learn about who they are and what their backgrounds are. Make clear that no other lawyers should be added to the case 
without your approval in advance. There's no easier way to increase the cost of litigation than to have multiple lawyers added to a case unnecessarily. Finally, explore with the lawyer, even up front when you're making a choice about what lawyer to hire, how this matter might be resolved short of trial. Most cases, after all, are resolved by settlement and not by trial. Often they're resolved through a mediation. So discuss with the lawyer what the lawyer's ideas and approaches are to settlement and mediation. Are there particular mediators who the lawyer has had good experience with and he would consider using in your case? And also discuss when should settlement be brought up? What are the lawyer's thoughts? What are the lawyer's practices and experiences in that regard? The longer a case lasts, the more expensive it's going to be. So discuss your lawyer's experience in speeding up resolutions. What ideas does he or she have about bringing the parties to a table earlier in the case? When litigation arises, most of the key events have already taken place. They're already in the past. Emails have been written. People have said what they said. Contracts have either been performed or not performed. You can't change those things. But you can begin to take some control of the case by asking the right questions and hiring the right lawyer.